What's up, guys? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. We're in an FTV. That's a fixed base sim, no motion. And we are currently on vectors for an RNAV Yankee approach for right. I want to talk a little bit about the RNAV approach and what this crew is doing behind me. Number one, uh, the captain's going to fly the approach. He's currently, however, setting up the approach. So he transferred control and he set, first got the Yatus, as you can see behind me, probably clearing a million and a uh, nice calm wind. So very straight and simple setup here for this approach that we're going to do. He's setting up the approach in the box. Couple things with this. One, we have to load it and ensure the box is sequenced properly given the phase of flight. Now, right now we're on vectors for four right. I'm giving him headings left, right in order to intercept this approach. I'll actually shortly clear him direct to a fix and then clear him for the approach. So for now, however, they're on vectors and he's just getting it sequenced. Apart from that, ensuring that we're in the approach phase. The RNAV approach is not going to capture properly final lap. In fact, you're also not going to get the brick and the stick if you're not in the approach phase. So if you don't know what that means, certainly I would encourage get the A320 online video ground school that we have at onestepprep.com. But the basis of it is if you want to compare it to an ILS, the glide slope and localizer indication, you're not going to get that unless we're in the approach phase of the MCDU. So he's setting it all up. He's then going to brief it. And then after that's complete, I'm going to jump up front there and I'm going to double check his work and make sure everything is getting set up properly. Now, what we're doing in this uh, session here is just going around the pattern, doing a bunch of approaches. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Reps is what's going to get them in a position to perform well on their type ride, which is coming up here uh, later on towards the end of the month. For them to do reps, to gain a high level of competence as an instructor, now I'm talking to you instructors, what we need to do is establish an environment in which they feel comfortable frankly, to fall and to stumble and to get things wrong. That's perfectly fine. That's why we're in the sim. I want them to have these experiences here so that it is in that process that we get them back up again on their feet so that we can continue them progressing and get the reps in. So a lot of repetition comes from being in a good environment. For those of you that are instructing, make sure you set a good environment where they feel safe to fail in this environment. And that may happen a few times here today. Not a big deal. We're going to keep going around the pattern and do as many reps as we possibly can in the time that we have. All right. Maybe you want to do the same with us here, One Step Prep. Hit the uh, the link that you know, OneStepPrep.com. Want to enjoy your friends in training program success. We'll see you here.